Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we will uh, talk about calibrated learner. Let me take you directly to the um, example. So, um, and I will explain exactly what is calibrated learner uh, means. So, I'm gonna grab the file, okay, and from file, let's for example select the Titanic dataset, okay. So, this is uh, yes, no, that's fine, and um, we will uh, uh, connect to directly the test and score okay and from test and score we will connect this to, into the logistic regression logistic regression this is the first thing so learner to learner and i'm gonna connect uh, as you can see here you can see the um, area under curve classification accuracy etc etc and we can now connect this to um, calibrated calibrated learner and i will uh, explain to you what we will need to do with this uh, widget but i'm gonna first connect this to here and learner to also learner that's fine also i'm gonna connect the data here into the calibrated learner okay and uh, this is all set so what uh, calibrated learner means it means that if you double click on the uh, calibrated learner you can wrap other learners like logistic regression with the probability calibration okay and this is generation optimization so let's uh, for example choose this one here and first choose this one here and let's see uh, the changes okay so you can see the difference between the logistic regression this is the logistic regression and the logistic regression plus segment uh, calibration this is the segment calibration and the optimization classification uh, uh, optimize uh, the classification accuracy so this is seven five five zero seven five zero the same but for a classification accuracy it's seven seven four but logistic regression is seven seven eight let's uh, try to use this one here let's uh, keep it this one and choose the isolated uh, the isonetic uh, collaboration calibration so you can actually change you know these okay but if you um, if you don't use uh, calibration and no uh, decision threshold optimization it will give exactly the same numbers as as the logistic regression so you have the choice you know to choose whatever probability calibration you would like to add or to uh, do uh, this is for example optimize f1 score if we use it so f1 score it is 574 and here 764 let's use the segment okay and let's use optimization classification accuracy they are becoming near each other so this is the calibration you can use uh, and try with other learners uh, and see what is happening for example let's let's um, for instance let's use uh, tree the tree so I'm gonna connect here tree okay and from tree uh, I'm gonna also connect here okay so learner to base learner from the tree okay and I'm gonna remove logistic regression anyway I'm gonna keep just the tree Let, let's compare and see the results so learner to base learner learner to learner and this is the data and everything is set so let's let's try to see the results for this one i'm gonna open both windows so with three plus sigmund uh, the accuracy is 788 and the same as uh, in three while three plus sigmund accuracy is 759 759 the same but the precision is different as you can see the precision is now different if we choose other uh, options uh, we will see that it's the it's the same but and also this is changed now it's changed so this is seven six one and seven five seven uh, see the difference between the three and the when you use three plus calibration it changed actually it changed based on the uh, whatever values you would like to to see here let's use uh, optimize uh, f1 score uh, it is less than the uh, the tree itself so you can actually change whatever yani, options you would like to combine between both 
probability uh, calibration and the decision threshold optimization. This is uh, the lesson for today. I hope that you um, uh, it, it was useful for you and we'll see you in uh, our next lesson. Bye.